Von Neumann and Harvard are the two big architectures for CPUs. And the key difference is about their memory. So in a Von Neumann architecture, which most computers follow, we've got one memory unit, which I'm representing in green here, which holds both instructions and data. Whereas the Harvard approach has two separate memory units, one for just instructions and one for just data. And we can see we've got two sets of buses in Harvard compared to one set of buses in Von Neumann. We can see just based on the diagrams that Von Neumann is a lot simpler and therefore cheaper to manufacture. And most computers follow the Von Neumann architecture because of this. However, Harvard can be higher performing. And the reason it can be higher performing, if we go back to Von Neumann, is down to that data bus. Because the data bus has to carry both instructions and data, it means we can have a bottleneck where they're waiting for each other to be sent because we can't send instructions and data down the data bus at the same time. Whereas in Harvard, because we've got two sets of everything, we can fetch an instruction at the same time we are fetching data, which could happen if you've got multiple cores or if you're doing things like pipelining. 